Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description, as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos, and for new viewers, it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, so today I have another haul for you guys. I have a ton of stuff coming in, so it's going to be a pretty big one. But right now, I just have the one big order from Simply Gilded to go over. I just need to get this washi like put away because it's taking up so much space in my two haul bin. So I'm going to go over this. This was like a silly little order that I placed before Simply Gilded had their 30% off Black Friday sale. So I don't think I, I got any discounts on this or if I did it wasn't nearly as much as 30%. I just, I don't know. I went stupid. I got freaked out because there was so much stuff on here that was like the landscape or like passport washies and I know those go real fast and I think there was something like from a mystery Monday here that it was a restock or something I don't know there was something in here I was worried about and so I just for some reason decided I was going to get everything that I wanted at the same time which was like a dumb decision but oh well at least I have it in time to like start decorating Christmas stuff with it so we have a lot of little miscellaneous stuff in here too, so that's going to be fun to go over. Let's just start with the flat stuff and the freebies. So this came with a ton of like journaling cards and um, postcards because that's what usually comes with the um, like the passport washies and stuff. So here are the freebies. We have our bow seal as usual. This has really pretty rainbow hollow foil. And we have sampler freebies 24 and 56. So these are both like pastel, winter slash Christmas kind of themed. I do immediately destash these though. I don't use them. I actually don't think many people do use them. So it's kind of time to phase those out, I bet. Um, and let's see. Let's just start with the normal journaling cards. So we have this merry and bright one in gold foil. And of course, this really went through the ringer. A couple of these are super duper bent. As usual, that's to be expected with uh, with Simply Gilded. But this one isn't. This one is nice and flat. This is a gold bow plaid one. I really like the simplicity of this. <laughs> I didn't really like, come up with ways to use these in like packaging or like write letters on them or something. Because some of them are like really cute, but I know I'm not going to do anything with them otherwise. And then we have the postcards. So this is one of the uh, Ski Lodge ones. I think it came in the bundle of both day and nighttime Ski Lodge washi tapes. But it's really pretty. It is um, based on a Breckenridge, Colorado, it looks like. Gold foil on that. Super pretty. I want to actually like use these, but I don't know if I can use this one if I'm not like sending it from the Ski Lodge. So I'll have to come up with something for that. This one is also really gorgeous. The rest of these are flat because there were so many that they like kept themselves sturdy, but unfortunately the bent ones were in another bag, so they got crushed by the washies. But this one is the Bavarian Alps Christmas Market, nighttime. I love that so much. And then we have Central Park in New York City. I love how this one is like a very purple themed one with rose gold foil, which works really well. And then we have the, I think, like, Holiday Town one is what this is. I love this, like, old-fashioned kind of Main Street holiday decor vibes. Season's Greetings, Gold Foil. 
and those are all of the journaling cards slash postcards. The other flat thing I have is these sticky notes. I try to pick up sticky notes where I can when something pops up that is A, easy to write on, B, a cute pattern, and C, not too expensive. And I think there were like a couple sticky notes that were in the shop, but I really liked this one because it is the... I guess it's the light blue bow is what it is. It doesn't really look white, light blue, it looks more whitish in person, which is why I picked it up, because I can write on this a little easier. I think there was another color that was like darker, but this one just makes a good like base, like a neutral sticky note to write on so that you can see what you're writing. And I love the hollow outline. So yeah, these are really cute. These will be good just to like label things or just write to, you know, so and so. Or if you're selling something in a buy sell trade group, just write your name and the date on this. It'd be so cute. So that's pretty much all I use the keynotes for is those few things. And that's what I picked that up for. Um, before we get into the washi, I think we'll leave that as last. I do have this Juniper Blind Box Series 2. I did not participate in the Series 1, nor did I really have any interest until I saw like the example photo in her newsletter email. And I just thought it would be really cute to have one of these to just display on in like my planner space because like I have kind of a planner space right now but it's kind of separated into different corners of my room like I have some here um, some like on my nightstand and then some over on my planner cart so I've got like a couple washi stands I've got like stuff displayed everywhere I have like four different juniper plushies scattered around my room eventually my goal is to like um, congregate everything in one place um, and so I wanted to like have a cute little display of like planner related objects and I just thought this would be a fun thing to add to that. I don't have any particular one in mind that I want this to be. Here are the options. I've got some cute ones here. So yeah, I don't really care at all what this one is going to be so unfortunately it's not going to be super exciting to see my reaction on that front but whatever it is, I will enjoy it, so at least I know that. Ah, uh, yes, we got the most classic juniper. Let me see if this one, like, has a specific name. It's like the one on the box. It's so funny. Yep, yeah, this is just peachy pink dress, so let me actually grab my plushie, which was the first plushie I ever got, which was basically that, except her dress is a little bit more pink in the plushie, but, like, I just think it's cute. They're, like, matching. Almost. But yeah, just, that's really fun. So I'm perfectly happy to get that little juniper. I hope she comes out with more plushies. So that's what I was hoping she would come out with. But nope, it's these. And I think she has like plushies on like st strings for ornaments. But I would, I would want more of these guys. Still have to buy one for my snake to cuddle up with. Because she does have a tiny stuffed animal collection. But yeah, this is adorable and it's a good size and it will fit very nicely on my shelves. Oh, also you can see I have a little piece of decor hanging out here. I found these ceramic pumpkins at my store, my grocery store that I work at, um, on the clearance rack and they were like a dollar something, a dollar and some change. So I got three of them and one of them is hanging out over here just because I like to look at it. <laughs> so that's gonna be just sitting there. I'm like really obsessed with decor now. Um, all right, so got into the washies. We got three stacks here of various things. Um, this is like the designs and five millimeter. This is like the solid colors and then this is the like landscape slash passport stack. So let's start with the smallest stack first. Um, aren't too many five millimeter because again I have like pretty much all of them but I didn't really have these colors. Um, so this is the Velveteen Christmas bow set of four, plus the gem of the month. Um, but yeah, so we've got these two colors, which I think are the same as these two. So that would be Holly for the green one, and then Poinsettia for the reddish one. These two are in gold foil, and then we have these two, which are in silver foil. Don't really know these colors. I mean, this looks kind of like a grayish purple. I'm sure that color has a name, but I do not know that name. Like, is it taupe? Is that what taupe is? Maybe. Um, and then we have this kind of light green, like very pastel green. 
So we've got that. And then we might as well just go over the gem of the month while we're here, which is Citrine 2.0. Um, I tried to, like, find my Citrine from last year to find out, like, what the difference is. Um, if I even have a Citrine from last year. I have, like, one that's, like, really light yellow. It's, like, a very pastel color. But this just looks like gold. Like, this is, like, shattered glass gold. Which I didn't have anything like this, so I don't think she's come out with one. So I was, like, very happy for it. Um, so, like, I'm happy to add this to my collection, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't really think it's citrine, but that's fine. I will enjoy it anyway. I really do love this color. I think I have the hollow one, yeah. Well, I guess it's just a silver shattered glass, but that one's gorgeous, and so I'm really glad to have the um, gold counterpart to that. So I did get rid of all the 10 millimeters, by the way, before I started filming, because I don't keep those. Um, but yeah, this would have come with that. But here we just have the 15 and the 5 millimeter. Alrighty, so for the rest of this stack, um, we've got some of the plaid patterns. So I had to get the like holiday tartan plaid, traditional holiday tartan plaid, um, with the classic bow pattern right here in gold, and then the stardust in gold as well. I just thought these would be really fun for it decorating happy mail christmas happy mail with but they would also be pretty cool in spreads so i also got the um black and white plaid let me try to find the actual name here yeah black and white buffalo plaid stardust so it is also a stardust pattern i don't get too many of the stardusts i think i probably have like four now but yeah, I'm more of a bow person, but I don't know, I liked this one, and I thought this would be a good one for decorating cards also, um, because, like, my plan is to kind of use the more Christmassy ones to mail out Christmas cards, but then when I mail out my thank you cards, it's still going to be winter time, so I'm going to try to break out some winter washi tapes, and I just thought this would be a better, like, winter one than specifically Christmas, so that was kind of my plan there. Um, now let's get into these solid colors. I do have these stacked up in the order that they are on the invoice so I can actually remember the names of them because otherwise I would be useless. Although, to be fair, I am guessing on the bottom three. Alright, because you know I never research this stuff before I start filming. So, um, we have Holly and Poinsettia like I pointed out before. These are a kind of more muted darker green and red. And these are all colors that I picked up because I didn't really have colors similar to that in my collection already. That's how I buy now. Um, because I did, like, buy a few lots, like, when I was just starting out. So I have a lot of random colors here and there. But, um, I just basically look for gaps in my collection. And, like, I didn't have a, a green in this particular shade or with this color foil. So I just wanted to fill that out because I do love my greens. And I thought this red would be very useful, too. I was surprised I didn't have one that was, like, this kind of wine red color. I really liked that. I'm not sure how this is showing up on camera because like looking at my phone as I'm filming I feel like it's coming up very dark and I feel like it's hard to see but I always like edit this stuff anyway to make it brighter so I don't know I think it'll be all right. You can let me know if anything is darker than usual even after I edit it. So yeah we have those two dark colors and then we have the more traditional bright colors. These are um, the festive sparkle red and green so it does have that kind of shattered glass gold foil for the bows. I think it's like the same color as the citrine actually. So come on, like this is literally just gold. Like don't even give me that citrine stuff. <laughs> it's gold. But yeah, I had to get the classic red and green because for some reason I didn't really have these. Didn't have the solid green which is like my favorite color. I like go back and forth between saying that emerald green is my favorite color and just a good solid classic green like this is my favorite color. They're both my favorite color. But um, yeah, for some reason I didn't have that, and I didn't have, like, a classic red and gold either. And these are, like, as Christmassy as you can get, so I needed these for reasons. And then we have these with the silver satin foil, which I guess is just silver, but it does look like a little bit more of a muted silver. Actually, one of these looks different. Okay. Okay, well, that makes it easy to remember. So these two are silver satin foil. This one is gunmetal foil, which means this is the dark denim. Definitely looks like dark denim, but yeah, I didn't have a, de a denim blue. 
which means one of these is French blue, one of these is blue jeans. So I'm gonna guess that's the blue jeans and that's the French blue, which actually makes kind of sense because I do kind of have an idea of what those colors look like. But yeah, I didn't have those shades of blue either. So I'm just filling out my blue and silver collection there. Some nice winter shades. And now we can get into the real fun stuff, which is the passports and landscapes. So it looks like we have one landscape, three passports. I don't know what the ski lodge ones count as. One, two, three, four, five, six. But yeah, that covers all of them. All right, so we have our ski lodges, day and night. So the nighttime has kind of a blue purple sky, but it is like very hard to see the actual lines that the, what are they called, cable cars, um, are traveling on. So it just looks like they're kind of floating in the air there, which is kind of funny, but that's what that's meant to be. We got our gold foiling for the windows on there. I think in the, um, in the journaling card, it was like silver. Is that right? No, it was gold there too. Why do I feel like there was like a silver version of something? I feel like one of these was like different than how it appears in the actual tape. I don't know. Anyways, these are both gold. So yep, then we have the daytime, which you can actually see the lines, the cables. Um, and yeah, the sky is very pink. Also gold foiling. These are really cute. I just tend to pick up landscapes and passports just because they look cool. Not for any real particular reason or like I don't have any use in mind for these, so I have no idea when I'll use them, but I'll stick them on some random Happy Mail. Um, Alright, and then let's just start from the top. So this is the Holiday Town, same as the journaling card. Yep, they are both in gold foil. Super cute. And then we have the Central Park with champagne satin foil. So that one's different from the journaling card. The journaling card had a rose gold foil, or I guess pink, which is pink. But this one looks more like silver. Yeah, that, that satin, like muted silver. But that's pretty cool. I think it probably shows up better on the tape when it's silver. And then we have the Bavarian town, which again is during the night time. Was this the one that was different? Nope, both gold. One of these was different, I swear. I'm not going crazy. But yeah, I do think the nighttime was a good choice so that you can have all these like string lights everywhere in the gold foiling. Very pretty. I love the little Christmas trees. It's so fun. It's an aesthetic. It reminds me of the uh, Chris Kindle like Christmas in Germany kit from Scholar Prince Co. Like all that European Christmas stuff that seems to be a vibe this year. And then we have the winter cabin at nighttime. So this is more like an outdoor landscape. Actually, this is the only one specifically labeled as landscape. And as such, it does not come with a journaling card. I feel ugh, which one was like a different foil? I don't even know. Oh, I think it was this one. Yep, yeah, so in this full box, the Ski Lodge has like a silver foil, but it's gold everywhere else. So there's a little fun fact for you. But anyways, yeah, we've got our gorgeous nighttime sky, which is actually kind of greenish, which is pretty cool. We have the moon, we have a tiny little winter cabin, and then just like a snowscape. I think there's another cabin in the background, which is fun. But yeah, that is the only like actual landscape one in there. But yeah, that is it for this kind of bigger order from Simply Gilded. I don't know how I'm going to fit this stuff in my drawers, but I do actually have like almost a, a whole set of three drawers that's like empty. So I think I'll be all right. But yeah, so I'm sure the next section of this haul will be some flat stickers. So let's go ahead and get into that now. Okay guys, so for the rest of this haul, I have quite a lot of stuff to go over. I don't know how much we will have time to get to, but as usual, whatever is left over will carry over into the next haul, and I do have a ton coming in after this. Oh, I have probably about 20 open orders right now, thanks to Black Friday, so, and orders that I placed before that, and a lot of international orders that are taking a really long time to get to me, so a lot to come, but for now, here, has, here is what has already 
come in. Um, what shall we start with? I want to start with my Happy Meal from one of my best planner friends, Nessa. I don't know exactly what she sent me, but I'm excited about it. So let's see what we have. I just wanted to show you how she packages up her Happy Meal because I've said it before in my hauls, but I just love the way that she does it like me with the washi and then the seal. This is a juniper seal from Simply Gilded, and I don't think I've seen those before, so that's really fun. I love the coloring, and it looks like she used like scotch tape or masking tape or some kind of clear tape over the washi to make sure it's stuck and would make it through shipping from Canada. And I just appreciate that because I know that the postal system really does a number on our packages. So I really appreciate that. And of course that's um, using her beloved, the Coffee Monsters Co. washi that I know she really likes. So thank you for that. And then she did write me this sweet little note on this birthday card. This is technically my belated birthday gift. My birthday was September 17th, but I'm just considering this my Christmas gift. Honestly, it's my early Christmas one. And yes, I am currently working on yours, Nessa. Hopefully it'll get to you around Christmas. We'll see when I finally get to sending that out. But yeah, I'm not gonna open that on screen, but it was very sweet. And then she like made it very clear that she wanted me to start opening this package this way. Do not flip over. And then she told me no peeking. So I don't know what all is in here, but I am excited. So let's dive right in. Just gonna start with the smaller package. No peeking. Oh my goodness. Okay, I will keep it facing this way then. So there will be no peeking whatsoever. This is so funny. What could be in here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, she uses tiny sticky notes to annotate everything the way I do too. That's so funny. Me and Sage do that as well. Because you'll never get this freebie. Yep, you are right, Nessa. I will never get this freebie. I have no intention of living in Canada. That's so funny. I love and appreciate all of these though, and I will definitely find ways to use all of these. There we go. There's that focus. So we have all of our Canadian animals. We have a beaver, a moose. I believe that's a little bear, right? Right. And then that's a Canadian goose, of course. And then the Canadian flag. <laughs> I really appreciate you sending this to me, Nessa. This is so fun. Um, all right, let's see. I know you missed this freebie. I did. Oh my god, it's the freebie with um Luca. Yes. Oh, I wanted this so bad because like I know that Mark takes like a million years to start making sheets out of um the like Disney and Pixar movies that she puts on freebies. Like she does usually get to it, but she takes a long time and like a lot of them kind of fall under the radar for a little bit. I forget which one I had to like request a million times, but like I had to request one like more than once for her to get on that. And so I was really worried about this, but thank you so much, Nessa, because I'm definitely going to use these to mark Luca. My boyfriend and I did wash that a few months ago, I want to say, and we enjoyed it a lot. So very happy for that. And of course, Cruella. I do love the um, 101 Dalmatians movies and the newest movie, Cruella, I did really like as well. Um, and then I always use these stickers to mark just jamming out to some music. So all of these will be extremely useful to me. So thank you so much. Okay, this one is because Anastasia deserves more representation. Yes, she does. Oh, uh, yes. I actually, like, haven't purchased from the Coffee Monsters Co. in a very long time. I don't know why. I think there's a bunch of stickers that I want, but, like, I'm just, like, really lazy about ordering from that shop in particular. I don't even know why. I have so many of her stickers, but, like, and I follow her very closely on, like, YouTube and Instagram, but, like, I don't know. I need to actually place an order. But, um, I was running out of these stickers. I had, I have this sheet. I'm, like, I think I have less than half left. So, I, I really like to use these to mark when Anastasia doesn't eat like her dinner because I don't know I just I feel like there's like some sass going on in the in the emojis expression and I just think it's hilarious so um thank you so much for these definitely I will be using these in my planner for you and G G's my boyfriend um watching tv shows or movies wasn't a fan of the straight couple with the flowers so y'all are the case <laughs> wasn't a fan of it. Wait a minute, if you weren't the fan of like, oh okay, so just because you didn't like it, you got this one and now I get this one, okay. 
<laughs> That's fine because you know me and my plan with me is I always love doing my little foil bows on all of the character stickers. So now this just gives me an opportunity to like actually use my own foil bows instead of the ones that are like built into the sticker, which I'm like, I kind of don't like because it doesn't give me an opportunity to use my bows because I got so many little foil bows, let me tell you. So I am perfectly fine with this. Love that. <laughs> I just love the message on that. So stinking excited for you to start planning a relationship. Yeah, you can tell that this was when I was like way behind and I hadn't even like started planning for the start of my relationship yet. I, I've planned like a few months of it now. I've planned uh, from the middle of October and then all of November and I am um like I have two spreads left in December so like I've planned a couple months of it so far but yeah I'm, I'm going through a couple stickers like mad crazy and thank god I have more coming in from I think Paper Shower Whimsical Cat Studio I'm waiting on I feel like I ordered them from somebody else too but I happy day yeah yeah three of those I've got all my couple stickers coming in I had some already uh, from the Coffee Monsters Co. Once More with Love, but, like, I'm, I mean, you know, when you have a boyfriend that you get to spend a lot of time with, like, that really becomes, like, half your planner, and I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad about that, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going through those stickers, so I'm very happy for this sheet. I do have this sheet. Um, what I love about this sheet is that, like, there's a bunch of couple stickers on this sheet that, like, don't, like don't appear on other sheets and I have been using those and I'm like oh but now like that's my only chance to use that sticker like the double day I, I have no idea if it's on another sheet but I like don't have any other sheets that that's on um I've actually only had like one double date so far technically um but like you know I feel like it's gonna happen again the more of his friends that I meet um yeah I guess technically we hung out on Halloween with um one of his other friends in his girl but um I don't I don't know if I consider that a double date but anyways definitely could use more of those stickers and yeah there's just a lot on here that are super cute and so happy for more of those so thank you for that Nessa movie marquee queen that's me thought these were cute yes oh these are cute these are um the Halloween ones I think I got these did I maybe but I can always do with more because like yeah you know me Nessa I mark like a million movies per week like it's crazy like, usually at least three movies, and, like, kits only come with one, typically, or I think SBC started including two, so that's fantastic, but still not enough, so I always need more, and I really do love these, like, themed ones. They are super cute. So, yes, we'll definitely use those. I love Strong Girl. <laughs> so she actually used this post-it as, like, a writing prompt, which is so cute. Aw, thank you, Nessa. You're so sweet. <laughs> this is so fun. This is a You Can Do It sheet. I don't even think I ever saw this sheet. But that is fun. This is very and a nice encouraging sheet. I will probably use this for work successes and just other life successes, but I have a lot of work moments where I like I feel like I'm winning, so <laughs> that is very nice to include. I know you missed out on these next two. Oh uh, I'm excited because I think I know what this is. Oh my god, yes, I did. Oh my god, yes, I did. Oh, thank you, Nessa. Oh my god, I'm literally crying. Oh, I thought I would never get these. Like, I literally never thought I did. I would. I thought they were gone forever from my life, and I was having some serious FOMO, and I still, whenever I see other people use these, I, like, I get a little twinge of, like, regret and, like, sadness, but oh my god, Nessa, thank you so much. Mm, I love you. This is so perfect for me because I am an animal lover. I get all the animal stickers, but especially um, the more unusual animals like spiders and snakes especially. I love picking up stickers of those because I love them so much and just any spider or snake related event in my life. I mean, obviously I have a snake and I used to live in a house with a bunch of spiders. Sadly, there's like not that many in this current house, but I do like to mark spider related things where I can so I just I really wanted those stickers and oh, thank you so much so I appreciate this so much so these were like the I think the wild education um like fundraiser charity stickers that um Marg came out with that were like a very limited edition and I I like just had an, a crazy dory moment and didn't realize how limited they were and I just didn't pick them up in time um but yeah I think they were a fundraiser for that organization um so yeah so I think it was an Australian organization possibly but anyways on here we have 
um, a snake that says unwind. So these are just kind of um, like motivational animals, obviously. That's what the title is. Um, Sage did give me a few of the unwind stickers, but I was like, I've been hoarding them a little bit. I've used like maybe two because I'm trying to hoard them, but now I have a few more, so that is awesome. And then we have the little turtle. It's okay to take it slow and steady. I don't have any turtle stickers, so I love that. And then, of course, the chinchilla, which is chinchillin. <laughs> It's so cute. And then a flying squirrel that says fly high. And then a chameleon that says don't be afraid of change. Super cute. I love those. Um, and then these are the wild education animals. So we have our giant tarantula. I love tarantulas so much. I've, I consider getting one because like I have a snake and I feel like snakes and spiders kind of go together in like the pet community. Well, snakes and rats go together in the pet community because... I mean, well, obviously you have to feed one to the other, but a lot of the time people will fall in love with rats as well and just keep them as pets as well, which is kind of an interesting thing that happens, but yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in like the more scary type animals like snakes could be, um, a lot of the times your interest will be piqued uh, by spiders as well, so I did consider it. But ultimately I want an animal that I can like cuddle a little bit more and I can cuddle Anastasia um, for a little bit until she, like, gets the zoomies and will leave me, because she will do that, um, but, yeah, I decided that I'm probably just gonna stick with cats, um, because you can't really cuddle tarantulas or spiders, they, they're not, they don't like to be touched, <laughs> but, um, I do, I do still love them, they have a soft spot in my heart, um, and then we have more snakes here, these are really cool because they are orange, I feel like you don't see too many orange snakes, which actually reminds me that the Paper Shire snake sheet is actually also an orange snake. So I'm like, I guess you do in the sticker world. Like, I don't see orange snakes in real life a ton, or even pictures of them for that matter. I think maybe corn snakes are orange. I don't know. But like, I'm in the python world. Like, I have a ball python, so I, I look at pictures of pythons. There are not that many orange pythons. Um, but I don't know. It's just funny when I see orange snake stickers. Um, and then we have a... I think that's supposed to be a leopard gecko in... A, yeah. Yeah, definitely a leopard gecko, which are also very cute. I once very briefly knew somebody who had a leopard gecko. Um, they are a very common lizard pet. I have a preference for crested geckos in terms of the lizard world. Um, also, monitors are really cool because they're big. Um, and iguanas look really cool, but I don't know. Um, leopard geckos and bearded dragons are definitely the like top lizard pets. Beardies are cool. They're cute. Um, they're just a little bit spikier than the other lizards. Um, here we have another flying squirrel. And then another turtle. Super cute. I love all of these so much. Thank you, Nessa. I really never thought I would get any of these, but you make my dreams come true. Love how we can do that for each other. <laughs> Last thing I may have cried when these arrived. I got these custom made for you, and I hope it's special to you and a step into your future. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh Nessa. Oh, I love you again. I'm crying too. I have, like, been secretly stalking Teddy Plans Go. I haven't talked about it, but I have seen her, like, custom family stickers, and I've wanted all of them, and I'm, like, I'm not gonna quite do that yet, because, like, um, I'm a little hesitant on starting new shops, um, just because there's so many that I already feel like I have to catch up with. I kind of get a little hesitant about starting buying from new ones, because I just know that I'm gonna look through their shop, and I'm gonna want everything, and I'm just gonna be a huge order, and I'm just, like for some reason hesitant about that, but I'll throw hundreds of dollars in, like, SPC, but I don't know. Teddy Plans Co. has been on my list of shops to check out. It's it's still hovering around 50 shops, um, because, like, I knock a few off and then I add a few more, but yeah, I definitely loved her little custom families, and I know Andrea from SPC has them as well, and I've been like, oh, they're so cute, like, I love this, but I haven't, like, made the plunge yet, but oh my gosh, thank you so much for making these for me, Nessa. This, like, at least saves me getting this sheet but I know that I'm about to get tons more. Uh, these are adorable. So she got these to represent me and my boyfriend and my boyfriend's daughter, who is nine. So like, I feel like that's a, a good size kid to represent her. Um, and there's a lot of kind of drama going on around that in real life in our custody battle. Um, I don't think I've said any updates. I'm not going to until it's kind of resolved. But um, ultimately when it gets resolved, hopefully it's going to be a very positive situation, and then I will speak more about it, but in the meantime, I do have um, plenty of situations to mark the three of us, and you bet I'm going to get a ton of use out of these gorgeous stickers. These are so perfect for all of us. 
makes me so happy. Oh, cute little family. I love my cute little family. Thank you so much, Nessa. Oh, all of these are just, I love them. Okay. Alrighty, now we have the second batch of no peeking. Alrighty, I'm not, I'm not peeking on this one either. Like, already that would be like a fantastic gift. Cannot possibly imagine what more is in here. Alrighty. No flipping. No flip over. I'm moving my key queen part two. Yep, she knows. She knows I need all of these. I like these. I haven't gotten Prairie Planner movie marquees yet. I'm still waiting on my Prairie Planner order, by the way. It's been like, I feel like a month. I don't know. I think it did ship, but I didn't get tracking and it's coming from Canada. So who knows? Those orders can take anywhere from like two weeks to a month. So I feel like it's still within the realm of it has not gotten lost yet. I don't really get things that go missing. Um, it's only happened like once, but still still waiting on that. I'm, I'm excited about it though. But yeah, I didn't pick up the movie keys, but yeah, I like these. I haven't seen any of this particular like size. I feel like they're a good size. Um, plenty of room to write in the name of the movie and also use a character sticker. Very useful colors as well. I like the grays. The grays I feel like are a good neutral that go with a lot of kits. And then we have another sheet of the brights. So these are both pastels. I used to say pastel, but like now I'm, I've transitioned to saying pastels. It's really interesting to watch my language progression. But yeah, these are all together a very useful rainbow of movie marquees. So thank you so much. I actually do need to like build up my collection of movie marquees. And then I thought this kit was calling her. Ooh, it's a whole kit. I don't know what this could be. I have no idea. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, Dreamland. Okay, so this is, I think, the Christmas version of the um, Disneyland, Disneyland art that came out. And this is so funny because this is literally, when I was doing my Black Friday shopping and I placed like 1 million orders for literally every single kit that I wanted and every single kit that I was like only slightly considering but then like if I found it on a sale I would like throw it in my cart anyway which did happen in a few occasions and I will tell you about that when those kits arrive um this was like the one kit that I actually did kind of want but like I did not buy it even though like I'm sure I saw it on sale um because it was I feel like it was it's the same art as the um just like the previous um Disneyland set that came out very recently um but I feel like it was just like recolored and then like some Christmas stuff was added and so I was like it's a little bit too similar like you know ideally I would have both but like I just can't just fight at the moment but um but now that I have it I'm like heck yeah because like Disneyland is closest to me and if we do move um further south in California which is eventually our plan because it's a little bit cheaper where we're thinking um then it's going to be within you know a reasonable road trip distance um, so I would be going to Disneyland a lot more than Disney World, and I need more Disneyland kits, so I'm so thankful for this, Nessa, because, like, this is the one kit I did not buy, and I feel like it's just fate, because it's the one kit you gave me, and I'm like, oh, it's perfect, because definitely I love it, so, yeah, I think Pixar Pier means it is Disneyland. I've, it's been, like, ages since I've been to Disneyland, or Disney World, like, I need to go. I need to go for real, okay? So what do we got? We have the castle. I love castles in kits just any castle I'll be obsessed with it that's my favorite thing my favorite thing ever I think my new planner cover is like a castle I think it's Belle's castle from the Belle set from um Kittenish Girl Dress if I remember correctly but I'm a castle girl I want one um me and my boyfriend joke about getting a castle in Europe like all the time um so we have a castle we have a clothing flat lay we have a girl who is me clearly with the curly hair that's my hair that's my skin that's me <laughs> these nails I don't think I've ever had nails that long. I, I wouldn't do them that long, but I used to have those um, press-on nails. Like, you've, you've seen my plan with me as if you've been around long enough, but I used to do those. I want to get back into it. I really do, but just not with my current job. Um, we have a little Olaf hat with, like, the reindeer um, antler in that. So funny. I think that is a backpack. And what looks like ice cream back there. Lightsaber, a little group mug, um, Mickey peppermint ears. We have a delicious looking drink with a candy cane in it. And I have like gone full on in Christmas spirit in real life, and I was just start started putting a peppermint in my coffee every morning, and it's like it's really kind of made it a little fancy and extra, and amped it up a little bit. And I'm just like I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Christmas spirit. 
So I love that. And then we have our double box scene of Pixar Pier. Gorgeous. And this paper quality is really good too. It doesn't feel like the most premium of mattes, but it's like, it's pretty darn good quality for matte paper. And then we have two little hidden headers up there, which is fun. Although I guess those could be considered washi strips as well. Yeah, similar to these. So the next page we do have washi strips, um, some half boxes, some labels, three heart checklists, and square boxes. I do love the squares. I feel like not enough kits include the squares. I just I love using them because they're like half boxes, but um, but like if you use a character sticker kind of overlapping on the side of it, then you can see more of the bougie box behind that. And I just love that, especially when you're using like really cool like underlays. Um, oh yes, so this is like the SBC style of little thing, which I do prefer. I like the Glam Planner just completely blank little thing style the best, but this is the second best option because um, you don't have to worry about covering up the icons. We do get a full set of glitter headers, and I do use all of them. I think Nessa only uses seven, but I use all of them. Well, I mean, if there's like 23 or 24, I use all of them. Um, if there's way more than that, I will have leftovers. We got our dinner dinner's header, which is the only one I use. I think I used to sometimes use Happy Mail, so I'm going to save that because I still might. But it's been a while. I usually like to do deco on the sidebar now. That's kind of my new thing. And then we have a weekend banner. Ooh, plenty of um, flags, pattern flags. Those are really fun. I still do the page flags at the top. I feel like nobody does them anymore, but I still do. I'm still holding out with that. We get our movie marquee, some scripts. Ooh, these are really cute icons. Usually I don't use the icons in kids, but these are actually adorable, and I love them. Um, cause I think, what's her name? Stacy. I think she also does icons like on separate sheets in her shop. I did pick up a couple, I think, but yeah, I think these are just what those are. And so I love that cause they're like colored for the kit and <laughs> we get the tiniest amount of deco possible. That cracks me up. That is like zero deco. It's so funny, but that's fine. Cause I can easily supplement with some foil. I feel like gold foil for this, right? There's like gold glitter speckles throughout. So feeling like gold foil is the vibe yeah and there's bigger gold confetti down here so that's definitely the vibe so this bottom washi um has clouds in it it would be great for cutting in half and using with some other foiled bottom washi or side bar tracker um two how it trackers bill do currently reading that's fun i actually might use that um i think i have stickers in my shop that are kind of like that actually and then we have our day covers Mm -hmm. I kind of like the ones that are like only part of the word instead of the whole like day because um, I use like a really tiny date dot and then that leaves like a bunch of room for like more deco, um, more space for deco, which you know would be great with a kit that included more deco than like five pieces, but it's funny. And then, okay, good. We have plenty more boxes on here. This actually might be enough boxes for like what I use in a spread because I use way more than your average person. Nine full box or half boxes here plus three there. So that's 12. That's good. I feel like I might be able to make that work. I've like actually started planning my layouts um, around the number of like half and quarter boxes that I have too, like as best I can. Like I've actually started really tailoring my layouts to like the kit that I'm doing. I used to tailor like the full boxes only and just kind of wing everything else, but like now I'm trying to be mindful about exactly how many boxes of each size I have. So like I, I could make it work. And then we have 12 quarter boxes. I consider both of these quarter boxes too, even though they're just various sizes of appointment labels. So that's six, that's 18 quarter boxes. And then I consider fancy labels also quarter box size. So 18 plus six, 24, 25, 25 quarter, that's a good number. That is a good number. And sometimes I use washi as quarter boxes too, if I can write in it. Um, Let's see how many of these we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-seven. That's pretty good too. Twenty-seven is pretty good. This is a nice big kit size. I'm into this. This could definitely work. Got everything all out of order here, but love this. Thank you so much, Nessa. You like somehow read my mind because like I feel like we always do that to each other. We like we're connected on some wavelength. You like knew the one kit that I like didn't pick up, and you got it for me. So love you so much for that and this is like best happy meal ever i love all of this this is all like extremely useful and i cannot wait to start using it especially these and everything else in here thank you so much nessa i love you so much and i will get your package out to you hopefully very soon okay what can we get into next Alrighty. um 
also just go through this one kit that I have because it's just one kit. Alright, so this is the Glam Planner November Mystery Kit. I've stopped, like, buying any mysteries. Um, I think I said this in my last haul, but I've stopped buying mysteries before I know what they are. Because, like, usually they appear in the shop later. And I'm like, I can wait. I can wait. I don't, I'm not about to risk anything and then have to sell it. Because, yeah, here's a quick spoiler alert. Um, uh, the SPC... December Mystery, not a fan. It's like a spa theme. The art is beautiful. Jesse did a freaking amazing job. It's gorgeous. It's just not my vibe. I'm just not a spa person, even at home. I don't do baths or anything. So, um, yeah, so all those people who are like me and don't do that, they all like immediately went to sell it. I knew it was going to have kind of a hard time selling. So I underpriced it. I did a little sneaky thing and I kind of undercut everybody else who was selling by, you know, a couple bucks and therefore I, I got the buyer. Um, so I did take a loss of, you know, some, some amount of money on that, but at least I was able to get it out to somebody who would use it. So I did sell it. Um, I do like it. It's just not for me. So that you will not be seeing in this video, but the Glam Planner November Mystery you will definitely be seeing right now because it is, everything is weirdly packaged in here. I did get this from the Buy Sell Trade, um, because it is a Wild West theme and, if you know me, I'm from Texas, from little Tejas, and this kid just reminds me of Texas. And also, like, Western movies, which I like. I like some of them. Um, really, the only exposure that I have is uh, the newest True Grit movie, which I do love. And I do love rewatching. Um, so I might honestly just use this to mark that or visiting Texas in a time that is not December. Because right now I only go in December, therefore... I can only use a Christmas kit with it. So my hands are kind of tied on that. But I have been just thinking about a Texas kit. I actually think this might not even be the only Texas kit in this haul. I forget if that's true. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I decided to pick it up. I had to. So this is from that other custom artist that she uses that um, I think Andrea also now uses. Am I even... I don't even think I'm following her on Instagram. I might be. I might be. Um, but yeah. So, love these full boxes. We have our double box scene of the outside of the saloon. Um, we have a sign that says the Old West, and then, of course, a cactus in front of it. We got our horse. I'm deathly allergic to horses, but you can't have an, a Wild West aesthetic without a horse, so I will allow it in my kit. That is as close as I will allow a horse to get to me. <laughs> we have our cowboy hat on the fence post, tequila, of course. I literally didn't even know that, like, what is it, margaritas that have tequila in them? Something has, some alcoholic drink has tequila, and I didn't even know that. But I like margaritas, and therefore I guess I like tequila, so. Just not, you know, straight like that. <laughs> then we have an entrance to a gold mine. And then some cowboy boots as well. Just all of our classic Wild West things. We have our check boxes. Our two extra boxes here are the sheriff's badge, the saloon in the background and the guitar and I'm guessing that's a lasso. I like the um the color scheme here. It's it's like kind of pastel a little bit. Oops, I said pastel. I meant pastel. It's a little bit pastel. Is that like a is that the British way of saying it? I don't even know. I feel like it is. Um then we have some more boxes over here. We have our itty bitty amount of deco scripts and other miscellany. We have the some of the um, little things that I like. Some washi strips, more boxes and labels, and then a bunch of headers. We do have dinners and Happy Meal, the two that I like to use if I'm using any. Still waiting for shops to completely phase out the icons. Those are, they've had their time and now they are done. I feel like, love the third boxes. I feel like, are there third boxes on the second page too? I forget. Yes, there are. I do love the amount of third boxes in Glam Planner kits because like, I feel like they're a lot more useful than half boxes and I feel like kits are starting, or like kit shops are starting to realize that. Um, and then we have more of the blank little things but also some of the icons which I feel like is an interesting choice, like just pick one. <laughs> like you already include the icons, just have them all be blank. I think she is also getting rid of the water trackers too. Um, and then we have the triplicated bottom washi. I feel like, was it Nessa in her latest haul? I think so. Or some latest video. I think it was her favorites video that she said that she like copied my way of calling it the triplicated bottom washi. And I'm like, yes, my my terms are catching on. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
it just cracks me up but um yeah so we have that again I don't think I've even like tried to use a kit with this bottom washi situation yet so I don't know exactly how we would do it because you can't really use all three without cutting into the day space so I don't know but we will see we'll we will cross that bridge when we get to it and um, we've got some work labels which I do use I do like to use the work labels because you know I always need the extra little things and then we have our date covers I don't mind those date covers but they're not my favorite and then we have our fashion girls. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love that girl's hair. Oh, that's my hair. That's me. That's me right there. That's the one I'm using. I want to use her though. And I also want to use, um, hmm, her, 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 all of them. I want to use all of them. I can't pick. I can't pick. I just love all the hair options. I love all the girls and the eye colors change too. They just look so cool. Oh, and then we have some like I think those are supposed to be like the guy options over there. I don't know. They could be girls too, but those hands look pretty masculine to me. But anyways, you get three different skin tones for those too, so that just cracks me up. I just, I love that girl with her little wisps of like curly hair hanging. Mm, I love that. So that's me right there in, in my kit. I found it. It's me. I love that. I think that the diversity choices are good on the sheet. So we have our fashion girls, and then we have our double box. Our big box, as I call it, um, which is the exterior of the saloon. I love how this building just says West. It's just West. I'm, I'm, go I'm going to West for some uh, some goods, some dry goods. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's funny. Um, and then our label sampler. I've stopped buying these as add-ons for Lux kits, um, but we'll see. I might need them again, given how many fancy labels I usually go through. And then glitter headers as well. No extra boxes with this one, but that's fine. Um, we do have some custom foil. I just, I always love the custom foil options for mysteries. These just make my day. I think these do fit exactly over. So these are gold hollow, which I feel like is an interesting choice. I don't know. It looks really orange, like in that light. Maybe if you like put it next to it, it becomes orange. But then if you hold it up like that, it looks gold hollow. Like, hollow is always interesting to me and in, in that it, like, shifts like that. But, yep, so it does go exactly over the brown parts well, and, I guess, the gray parts of the image. And then we have the double box overlay right there. And then these are for the extra boxes. I love it when she includes the fashion girl overlays, too. So we have these two extra boxes right here. And then the bottom two are for the fashion people so we have one option for the girls vest and then um, this other option for the cactus and the holster so we got really options for everything on that and then we get the um, bottom washi overlays as well I love when they're like landscapes like that like that just really makes me happy so yeah that's gonna look great over that and then this um, this just like glitter one for the second strip right there and some tiny deco. I love that too. Oh, and you also get two um, like quarter box overlays over there, which I also love and I feel like should be a thing that's incorporated more into foil and like foil bundles. That'd be cool. Foil bundles are really having a heyday. Like everybody's all about the like themed bundles, which is just great and would have been great if I were still buying foil. <laughs> Anyways, that is the Wild West Glam Planner November Mystery. I had to pick it up for obvious reasons, and I'm very glad that I was able to find it in the BSC. Um, I actually, like, just asked if anybody was selling it before, like, everybody went to sell it. Because, like, I didn't see anything for the longest time, and I was afraid that nobody was going to sell it. But, so I felt lucky when somebody did, just because I asked. Alright, so next, we're going to do the Fat Cat Designs. This is a new to me shop. Uh, this is one I have been kind of stalking for a little bit. A little bit. I just, I love shops with cat characters. You know me. I'm a cat character kind of gal. I do love my cats. Um, like, Sweet Eva's Paper is, like, my number one. But, um, there's plenty of others. I can always make room for more cat characters. Um, and these are adorable as well. So, this is Fat Cat Designs. Here's the journaling card. And, I think you know, on the back, so her name is Jenny. I'll have to remember that. 
I try to be good at remembering the names of these shop owners. Um, and then we have a little sticker die cut here that says always grateful on this cute little kitty in um, like a little fall themed sweater, which I want that sweater in real life. But I love this. I'll probably put this on some kind of card. Um, here we have the freebie, this fun little clipboard checklist, like full box over there. Um, we have a Christmas like Starbucks cup and then the little cat characters shopping. Um, I think that's wrapping presents and getting covered in tape. <laughs> and then, hang on, I feel like my phone is just not auto-focusing today at all. So I'm, I apologize if there's like any really out of focus moments that I don't catch. Um, and then over here, I think that's just like putting up a wreath. So that's the freebie. And I only placed kind of a small order, but there was just some that I really wanted. These are actually, they feel like tinier sheets than the usual like character sticker sheets. But like, I still feel like you get a lot on the sheet because she does space them fairly close together, so that's awesome. I had to pick up the pirate sheet because I do love like pirate movies. Pirates of the Caribbean are like my favorite movies ever. Um, I say that about a lot of movies, but they are very high up there. At least the third one is like in my top three movies. But um, I just, I didn't have like really any pirate stickers at all. Um, except on, I think, like, a few Halloween costume sheets, maybe. But, like, I needed a whole sheet of just pirates for obvious reasons. So there is a little kitty pirate. I don't know if the characters have names. They might. If they do, I don't know them. But they're all adorable anyways. Um, and then we have a little kitty doing some apple picking. I don't know why I feel the need to take them all up. Um, but yeah, apple picking is, like, a dream of mine. I think I've gone, like, almost once. Maybe when I was a kid I went and I don't remember it, but like, it's a dream. I love apples. Um, and then we have a pumpkin patch visit here. It's my, it's my tradition to try to go every year to at least one pumpkin patch. And I just love the size of these. These are nice and small. These could be like third box or even quarter box size. Um, and then we have just planning. It's a nice classic kitty planning sticker. I didn't technically need more planning stickers because I have a ton that I like never use but uh, I just had to throw it in. And then we have making sandcastles at the beach. I just thought this was really fun because it's like a group of three you know characters making sandcastles and I'm like that's me and my boyfriend Anne Aurora and she loves making her sandcastles and sand structures so I just had to get that for us. And then here we are just like lounging at the beach I just like I don't have enough like generic beach stickers so just needed that and then this is for hiking I don't have a ton of different hiking stickers either or at least I have some but I feel like not enough size variation or like not enough of each size so I just had to get more I love the little hat she's wearing and then I did pick up the football there was one that was like a cheerleader or like like a fan one with you know like the number one fan giant foam hand um and I was gonna get that to mark just like any generic sports game um but I figured like most likely the games that we're gonna go to are gonna be football um and then um we're probably we might eventually go to some hockey games too and that at that point I will pick up some hockey stickers where I see them I know of a few shops that have them because you know I have bought some for Nessa but um I feel like those two are probably going to be the ones, but my boyfriend just loves all sports, or at least watching all sports, and he did play several, but he is in a Raiders fan. I forget what city they're in now, but he's a Raiders fan, so he does like to pay attention to the games every Sunday. Um, so if we ever go, I have a sticker for that. And then I have the um, three cats playing a board game, and again, groups of three, I do try to pick up those stickers. Um, because I have, you know, there's a lot of couple stickers where it's just two characters doing something, but, um, for families, I'm, I'm trying to get stocked up on, like, three characters doing stuff to mark the three of us, of course, so, um, and also me and my parents want to go to visit them as well. So, yep, yeah, here we are with them just playing a board game. And then I love these two, um, like, Starbucks mug sheets. I feel like this is not exclusive clip art. I feel like I've seen it somewhere else. Um... But I don't think I've seen them in full sheets. I've seen them on, like, freebies. Like, I don't know. But I just... And I could be wrong. These could be, like, a completely different, unique, exclusive set. Um, but I just... I love them. 
I just, they're enormous, but like, I do usually use um, quarter boxes to mark like drinks, so like Starbucks drinks and special drinks, so I can make an exception because these designs are super cute. So this is the fall uh, sheet with a little rain and rain boots, a bear with a scarf, sunflower, high sage, um, she loves sunflowers, and then like a mushroom, I almost said marshmallow because like I confuse the two all the time, and then an acorn and some leaves, and I think that's a little fox with little eyebrows, that's adorable. So we have those. These would be better in a smaller size, though, I feel like. And then um, here we have, like, these spring. Oh, these are so cute. Mm, spring vibes. Spring vibes. Um, we got a little Easter egg one with the Easter bunny ears, which is so funny. Just, like, a nice bow, some flowers, bumblebee, little bunny. Oh, we get some more designs down here. Actually, these are, like, there's, like, three rows of unique designs, kind of. Um, so we have a ladybug chick dragonfly carrot mush mm, mushroom right i always i'm always second guess myself now um and then yeah i think it repeats well we have a bumblebee but then we have another sunflower and a butterfly so those are new and the little bird and then the rest repeat but yeah i love them they're so cute not that i need more like coffee stickers at all but I just can resist. Alright, so that was my cute tiny order from the Fat Cat Designs. Super adorable. I love my cat characters. Okay. Um, we are gonna... We are switching back and forth between um, kits and characters. I'm just like not really going in a particular order here. But next we're gonna go over Jessica Hart's. There was not a ton I needed, but she was having like her early Black Friday sale. Look at this cute little blue foil to seal. But um... It was just like one kit that I like needed needed and I know that her kits like typically get restocked like once or never again um so you kind of have to be prompt about it so I just wanted that kit and then I think I went through her older inventory and saw that she had this other kit that I needed so let's see what we got here we have our journaling card with a quote those who don't believe in magic will never find it well I haven't found it and I believe in it I'm talking about like Harry Potter magic and you know fantasy magic everyday magic then that's there for sure but that's a Roald Dahl quote I love Roald Dahl he's a great author okay so two kits here it looks like and okay so there's also a little thank you card too went to Wonderland it's cute um so yeah I got two kits and it looks like she put my extra stuff in with the first kit so, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go over the extras first. You can clearly see the name of these kits here. So, that's not really going to be much of a surprise when we get to them. But first, we have our All Orders freebie. I really like, it weirds me out when shops include full boxes with their freebies. Like, what, what do you think I'm going to include this with? Like, what kit could I possibly just randomly pull this full box into like I don't franken spread like that that crazy but <laughs> it's just funny so this will be d stash um I might keep these boxes though because I do always need quarter boxes I my leftovers collection is not that big with quarter boxes I feel like I've used all of them up, all of them up at this point um but yeah we have that and then I did get some of the icons not too many not too many they got some I did, of course, get the inhaler. I feel like so many shops are coming out with inhaler stickers now, and I'm here for it because as somebody with really bad asthma, I have to market a lot, and I just, I love their variety now. There used to be just, like, two shops that had it, and now there's, like, I have, like, six different shops, um, inhaler stickers, and I'm here for it. So these are really cute. Love the little heart. I love the size of them, and love that they're pink. Um, I did get the sailboat because, like, recently I had to mark something with a boat, and, like, I didn't have any boat stickers, like, at all. And it was, like, very sad. I used, like, a freaking kayak sticker, which is dumb, because it was not what it was. To be fair, like, I don't really go on sailboats. I go on, I don't know, motorboats? What are they called? I don't know. You know, like, when you go to, like, Tahoe and you get a boat, and you go motoring around, sailing around the lake. I mean, I guess it's not sailing, because it's on a sailboat, but that kind of boat is what I have to mark. But, um, you know, a boat's a boat, and at least this looks like a boat. Meanwhile, a kayak is a kayak, so I just got this to mark boat-related activities. 
Cause I do like boats. I'm not, I'm not much of a water person, but like little motorized boats like that are, they're fine. I don't really get seasick on those, you know, on cruise ships. Heck no, never again. And then of course I had to get the ramen because I'm literally ramen obsessed. I actually like, I have all the extra stuff for ramen right now, but I don't have the noodles and I'm like, I'm beating myself up about it. I have to go get noodles at my store so I can make more ramen because it's literally like my favorite food now. Like it's nuts. And I made my boyfriend ramen the other day and he said it was really good. So like ramen is a vibe. I, I just discovered it now when I'm 25 years old. Um, I just discovered it and... I've like started making it really fancy like this at home. I still haven't eaten it out yet. I've eaten pho out. I was not a fan. I'm just a ramen gal. So definitely all the ramen stickers. So you're going to see a lot of those upcoming. But I just, I love these. And I love the little um, probably egg cut in half because that's how I made it the other night. Usually I just throw a scrambled egg in there. But I like didn't have room in my backpack to bring home a whole carton of eggs. So I just got the two little hard boiled ones. And I just had those the other night. But it looks very aesthetically cool. And I, I do like the chopsticks, even though I personally eat ramen with a fork. Because, I don't know. I need to shovel it down faster than I can with chopsticks. I feel like I'm not that cool yet to only use chopsticks. And then I did pick up these villain quotes. I said I stopped buying foil, and I kind of did. But, like, every now and then there will be something that I feel like I either can't make on my own or can't get elsewhere or just like it's so cheap and small and I feel like the convenience of just having it is like better than me trying to figure out how to recreate it myself because like I do have the ability to make my own fold stuff now but like and it keeps me from buying like basic foil stuff but every now and then there will be something that's just like I'm just gonna buy this because I'd rather just I, you know, I only want the one I only want the one it's fine um so we have these like villain quotes here obviously um and I have literally a three inch binder full of just Disney princess kits. I'm actually having to move all of my um, Disney non-princess kits into another binder because just the princess kits take up a, an entire three inch binder. Um, so I do have a lot of villains in there as well. So definitely gonna make use of these. I did get this in gold because I feel like gold is just a pretty versatile color. Gold and silver, obviously. Usually I go with silver as a default, but I was thinking about these kits and these villains' color schemes, and I felt like gold would be a good thing. Especially Alice in Wonderland, you can definitely use gold with that. That quote is, if I lose my temper, you lose your head. I love Alice in Wonderland. Mm, it's my favorite thing ever. Um, and then Peter Pan, definitely gold as well. Death is the only adventure you have left. Mm, I didn't know that was a Captain Hook quote. I need to read the book. Um... Maleficent, also definitely gold. You poor simple fools, thinking you could defeat me. Me, the mistress of all evil. Is that from the, like, the, the rebooted live action movie? Maybe. And then Evil Queen from Snow White. Yeah, Snow White could definitely be a gold vibe. So these all could, these all could work. I feel like I have kits for all of these that, um, gold would work with. And there, my faithful huntsman, you will kill her. Dun dun dun. Snow White is, like, underrated. Snow White is a very good movie. I love it. Alright, so that is my extra stuff from Jessica Hart. So now let's get into the two kits. She is known for doing, like, pretty much, ex um, I say exclusively photo kits, as in not necessarily exclusive art. I mean, I don't know. I don't know enough about the photo kit world, but I imagine that they just buy, like, or they find free-to-use photos online or something, or they buy, like, packs of photos for commercial use. So, it's not, it's definitely not exclusive, but, um, some photo sets I do see in other shops. Not often, but sometimes I do. But, um, when I say exclusively photo kits, I mean that she pretty much only does photo kits, and a lot of the times they are not necessarily um, well put together. I feel like for me personally, they're not as cohesive as I would like, but every now and then she'll do like a theme that I haven't seen anywhere else and I don't care and I need it anyway. So these two kids fall into that category. Uh, Mary Poppins. I have like, I think two Mary Poppins kids right now. I have at least one. Um, but it's not enough because Mary Poppins is like my favorite thing in the world. Oh, I love it. I, I can sing the music backwards and forwards all day long. I used to listen to that soundtrack falling asleep as a kid. I, oh my gosh, I am a Mary Poppins lover. Not the new movie, the original movie is the best. So, had to get the Mary Poppins photo kit. Um, 
here we have a girl drinking tea. I'm not really sure how that relates to my poppins, but there it is. We have the carousel, which is definitely part of the movie. Um, a clock. Of course, we have the chimneys. Um, then we have the two kids looking into a teapot for whatever reason. A close-up of the carousel. We have a letter addressed to Miss Poppins. And then I think that's Big Ben right there. So I guess there's kind of a lot of generic London stuff in there as well. But yeah, I mean, clearly the Miss Poppins envelope cinches it. It is definitely a Mary Poppins kit. And that's good enough for me. Um, so yeah, then we have the date covers and uh, habit trackers, other miscellaneous stuff. And we have another full box. That's fun, which is the spoonful of sugar. <laughs> got some glitter headers, boxes and checklists as well. We got some headers, tons of half boxes, our weekend banner, which is freaking enormous. All the shops have like such variations in their weekend banners. It's so funny. And then, um, here we have the check boxes with the carousel in the background. I don't ever use this page, but I like it when there's a design behind it. It's kind of fun. And then we have some little things, but not nearly enough, if you ask me. And then other miscellaneous things. We have our page flags. Always nice when shops still include those. And then we have bottom washi, um, pattern washi. These I'm probably going to use as additional little things. And then more pattern washi over there. And no deco for these photo kits. I do love when shops do put in deco, but I, I can understand like how it's pretty darn hard for photo kits a lot of the time. Um, I did pick up the foil add-on sheet. That's another thing that I love that she does is uh, she creates custom foil like overlays that are basically just like three full box overlays and then the bottom washi overlay and some like icons. Um, she will do these for, I think, almost all of her kits, and you can choose the foil. I decided I was going to use silver with this, although gold would be a good choice. No, I, either one would be fine. I'm just going to use silver. So I got the overlays in silver. Got our bottom wash overlay that says, Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Here I am trying to sing off key. Um, but yeah, so obviously you're not going to cut that bottom washi in half, so you can use the quote over that. Um... And then we have some other quote overlays that say anything can happen if you let it. That would be good for that box. I'm trying to figure out what other box would be good for a full box or a quote overlay. I feel like that one would be good. So let's just pretend I'm going to put that one over that one. And then this one says super califragilistic expialidocious. That one's going to go over the spoonful of sugar. And then the chimney sweep one obviously is going to go on the chimney, and I feel like that was kind of meant on purpose for that. That placement looks very good to me. So hopefully I remember that when I actually go to use the kit. I don't know what I'm going to do about the deco situation. I'm going to have to use some just like random, like, I don't know, floral, floral deco or something. But yep, that is the Mary Poppins kit. I do love me some Mary Poppins. And then next, we do have our other Texas kit that I told you you would see in this haul. I forgot whether I had picked this up or not, because I think there was one that, like, there was one kit that she had that I was going to get, but it was sold out. And so I was like, eh. I think it was, like, the Winter Bell one. But she did actually have the Texas one, and so I did pick it up. Um, was she the shop that has, like, the ultimate add-on sheets that I, like, just haven't done I don't think I needed them because I think I bought the ultimate versions. I forget. Anyways, so obviously I had to get this for all the reasons that I explained earlier about me traveling to Texas at least once a year because that's where my parents and a lot of my family live. Even though I don't really like Texas anymore, um, I do consider myself from Texas because I lived there the longest. Um, and my Texan accent will still come out on occasion, but... Yeah, so it uh, makes me happy to see Texas represented in kits. So we have our Texas Longhorn, we have our Cowboy on a Horse silhouette, we cut our Texas Blue Bonnets, so that's like our, I don't know if it's officially our state flower, but they're definitely very common. Um, our Welcome to Texas billboard, Texas Barbecue, of course, let's see how many times I can say Texas in describing these full boxes. We have a girl and her horse, got some cowboy boots all lined up and then I think that is probably like the Houston downtown or one of the big cities downtown could be maybe Dallas 
I grew up near Houston. I actually went to school in Houston. Um, went to college there. So we have our headers, date covers with our Texas blue bonnets in there. Other things. Ooh, that's a different weekend banner. So I guess she changes it up, huh? I like that because it's like more Wild West kind of font. Um, half boxes and other types of headers. We have our check boxes with the um, cowboy boots lined up in the background. And then little things. I actually didn't count them on the previous kit, but let me see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4 is 24. So yeah, that's only 3 less than the Prairie Planner kit, but I feel like SBC and Glam Planner probably come with more. I don't know. Um, and then we have our bottom washi. And other various washies. So I'm just, I have like a, I froze for a moment because I, one of my favorite songs to listen to now is Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? I think it's by Paula Cole, if I remember correctly. But it's just, just, I have that song stuck in my head now that I'm going through all these Texas kits that have like cowboys in them. It's such an addicting song. I love it. Um, and then I did get the foil overlay sheet, of course. Um, this one is also in gold. No, that one was in silver. This one is in gold. Um, no foil colors really stand out to me to use with this kit, but I'm just going to do gold because why not? It's pretty, pretty foil. So we have a bunch of cities listed, um, for the bottom washi. I love how Houston is the first a big one because, yep, that's me. That's where I'm from. I love San Antonio as well. My childhood best friend went to UT Arlington. Um, one of my friends from high school and his girl are going to med school in El Paso. Um, Austin is, of course, one of the best cities in Texas. That's where Andrea from SPC has her headquarters. Um, I haven't, I don't even think I've been to Dallas. I probably flew through the airport once. Don't really know anything about Fort Worth or Garland or Laredo or Plano. Um, love going to Corpus Christi though. That's a very nice beach, tiny little beach city. Um, and then for our full box overlays we got don't mess with texas of course you better not better not i'm trying to figure out which of these would be good so i feel like we're probably gonna do one over the blue bonnets we got our y'all one that's real funny that one's gonna go over the cowboy and then just this texas outline i feel like it might go over the barbecue did we get a, did we get a second full box i don't even think we did something about her format's different than the previous one we don't get that extra full box in there. What page was it even supposed to go on? I don't even remember. You can see that my Texan accent is coming out now that I'm going over a Texas kit. Wait, is there not even... Is this whole page just missing? Oh my gosh. I think it is. Oh, I think it's the ultimate page that's like an add-on. That's what I was talking about. So, um, I think you just, like, get the base kit, and then you can add on that page to make it, like, the ultimate version of that kit. And I think this one was an older kit, so it wasn't available anymore, and that's why I just didn't get it. So, unfortunately, only eight full boxes with this kit. No glitter headers, but that's fine, because I have tons of extras for that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder to use these overlays, but that is all right. I, mean, I guess you do get the passport stamp. This is for like some passport promotion that she's doing. If you like collect a bunch of the passport stickers, then you can get, I don't know, a free kit or something. I don't know. I don't pay attention. So she does do a lot of like destination kits um, or like location kits, but I'm not too interested in the rest because again, um, a lot of the time the photos just like aren't cohesive enough especially with the color scheme to get me but of course I had to pick up a Texas one um oh yeah that's not even it for Disco Hearts so apparently this was on my invoice I don't remember ordering this this was like some floral washi it's not even foiled I can't imagine that I actually ordered this I have no idea so I'm, not, I'm gonna have to see if I got charged for it I, I, mean, I don't think it was too much but all the same is weird because I really don't think I ordered this I don't need more washi I mean, it's kind of nice. Like, I wouldn't mind using that on, like, Happy Meal and stuff. But I don't think I ordered that. But I did order these post-it notes. Because I am all about buying post-it notes these days. And I feel like the ones that you get from sticker shops are, like, also kind of small. Like, 
pretty easy to go through them fast. So I do kind of try to stock up when I see them, especially when I see them on sale. This was probably on sale, but yeah, I just liked the floral elements and how there's enough white space to really write a good message on there. So I can annotate my Happy Meal to other people, as I always do. So that is it for Jessica Hearts, and I actually have just one order left, but that is a big paper shire order, so I'm going to save that for the next haul, and I'm going to cut it right here, because I think it's, actually, yeah, I think it's about the, the length that I usually cut it out, um, an hour and 20 minutes is, I feel like what I usually do. So, yep, you'll see that in the next haul, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I have coming in still. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that'll be fantastic. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.